Now, I thought it only appropriate for this particular period of the day in which we are, in which we are sharing origins lost in the mists of antiquity. My mythical story to share one about a mythical event. Now, bardic madness is a tradition. It is an event that has happened in this kingdom more than a dozen times and has spread to other kingdoms. Road to the Isles, which is happening this very weekend. And to those people, I wish good luck in the snow. <laughs> Quest for Camelot in the far west of our kingdom, in the Shire of Shot and Tor. These are traditional events. But, boys and girls, do you know of the event called Justified Rudeness? No. no. There was a group gathered about and speaking one day when a young lord named Grimmon continued the conversation at hand with the phrase, Oh, I figure it is rude of me to do such a thing and say such a thing. But in this particular case, to save the child, I am willing to be rude. And I responded, fair enough, Grimmon. Musings from a Darian mind. <laughs> Justified rudeness. Now there's a useful term, I thought. Like a, like a guard stabbing the man with the knife to the lady's throat. Or, or some wars. Hey, Grimmon. Hmm. Fun name for a new war event, don't you think? And that was the birth. Coming soon to a barony near you, May 23rd, 2009, the Welsh say the English stole their corn and sheep. The English say the Welsh are squatting on English land. And everyone knows the Vikings just don't belong. Justified rudeness for Show off your best manners. Someone then proposed a schedule for the event. 10 a.m., check-in opens. The troll at the gate quizzes you to see if you know every heraldic order of mark by sight and description alone. The market opens. Haggling is mandatory at justified rudeness. 10.30 a.m., a competition. Thy mother art so. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> 11 a.m. Turning. Ten reasons swords are better than men or women. 11 a.m. Turning. Real fighters wear tartan. Yeah. <laughs> 11.30 a.m. Court. Nuff said. <laughs> High noon. Luncheon. Feast gear prohibited. Trench your bread and food supplied. Your silverware resides on the end of your wrist. Classes, ancient insults and retorts. Bards, why you don't want to piss them off. <laughs> Medieval finger gestures and their meanings. 1.30 p.m., Harold's tourney. Bad song contest. Tourney, rapiers are not sissy swords. <laughs> oh, an arts and sciences class, garb. Why you should put some effort into yours. <laughs> Class, heraldic, when you should bow, otherwise known as what the heck is that white belt with a pelican and bronze circle and shiny pointed hat mean anyway, and the scowl behind it. <laughs> Competition, arts and sciences, it's better because it's prettier. <laughs> Brewing and vintning, alcohol through the ages, also known as why the Saxon suck. <laughs> Competition, heraldic, name that device, and Fred isn't allowed, you can't document it. Uh, subsequent competition. Yes, I can, damn it. <laughs> 3 p.m. Competition. Blackadder impersonation. Turning. Proving codpiece size on the list field. Turning. <laughs> devices of war. Turning for the archers. Yeoman, ho! And a bardic circle. Nuff said. <laughs> feast. Feast gear prohibited. Side game. Name that dish. Turning. Roman. How far does that ostrich feather go? 
Has anyone noticed how many tournaments there are at this war event called Justified Rudeness? It's a war event? Saturated concept. Hearing about the event concept for Justified Rudeness, the Honorable Lord Alexandre Vasilievich Lev, try to rhyme that name, gee, told us about some wonderful sheep games, raids, and Welsh fun in Castel Rouge a while back. So, for an ongoing concept, there's lots of different excuses for more Justified Rudeness. Coming soon to a shire near you, Farmer Ivan is jealous of Farmer Alexandre's fine, sturdy house. Farmer Alexandre it covets Farmer Ivan's woods and large wood pile. Winter is coming all too soon. Justified Rudeness 11. Manners are for the warm. Coming soon to sweep the borders near your town. Your land is fertile. Well, so is yours. We want it all. Justified Rudeness 2. Show off your finest manners. Coming soon to your local college, Professor Throdell has presented his findings about Norse shaving rhymes. The entire membership of the Society for Creative Academia, or the Boreal Foundation for Academic Studies, has risen up in outrage or joy. Hard to tell with these guys. <laughs> Books are flying and tenure is up for grabs. Justified rudeness 32. Miss Manners through the ages is out the window. Remember, it's not just an event. It's justified rudeness. See me later for more. <laughs>